Butter, you take butter. Butter on my popcorn? Oh, of course. There's no other way to have it, right? Then it's all plain. How's it going? You're here at the 53rd annual ACM Awards. What's going through your mind right now? It's crazy. It's just I lo love it here. You know, you see so many familiar faces. You also get to meet some some of the the newer faces. And you're also just in the, the craziest, most fun city ever. Yeah, of yeah. course. Of course. Do you remember the first moment where you were like, okay, I want to get into country music? Yeah, you know, I was a, I was a kid, and my parents used to own like a roller skating rink back when you know that was the craze. And so I was exposed to a lot of different kinds of music, but I lived in a small town. And so when I'd hear the country songs on the radio, you could just look out the window and say, oh, well, that's obviously what they're singing about. So at a pretty young age, I'd, I'd say, as a, as a grade, in grade school, for sure. Yeah, definitely. And who was the first country singer or artist that kind of sparked you as, wow, I want to follow in your footsteps? Um, which I know this is, uh, you know, a lot of people would say this, but George Strait. But then you start digging through, you realize your heroes have heroes, and they all go back to a guy named Lefty Frizzell for me that came out in 1950, and he's basically Merle Haggard's hero. I mean, he's everybody's hero. He's just a legend. Of course. And one last question. Who are you most excited to see perform tonight? You know, it's going to be great to see Reba. And, and all, you know, she's such a quintuple threat. She can do everything. So just to see all her talents, you know, she's, she's going to show us how it's done. Yes, amazing. Well, thank you so much. Have fun tonight.